This bottle skeets for you, Cletus. Liberty Brew. Down, down. <laughs>
The car is in Matthew's shop where he painted my uh, GC, and uh, he's working on it now. Uh, this is like Matthew's bread and butter, so he's like excited and like pumped about it. So he's been ordering parts and like pulled the pulled the head off, took it to the machine shop. Um, but for the rest of this video, we're just gonna have a few clips, putting the head back on, and then maybe button up some other things, and then uh, hopefully. The next video, it'll be uh, us putting a base map on the car with it running and then maybe taking it to the dyno and showing y'all some dyno footage. Uh, this car should easily, easily make 400 plus, uh, uh, hopefully closer to 500 wheel in this setup. Yeah, well, so allegedly it made 450 in the past. Uh, that was probably like six or eight years yeah, ago on pump gas. I've got friends that uh, actually knew of the car back then and they confirmed that. Originally we pulled the head because it was leaking a little bit of coolant and so we, we thought that it was because it uh, uh, because it warped the head. Come to find out, it didn't have any dowel pins in it so it was probably misaligned. And they used an LS head gasket. When you use an LS head gasket on uh, an LS VTEC, they have uh, rivets that hold the uh, head gasket together with the GSR head or B16 head. Uh, the head actually sits down on those rivets and it won't completely seal. So I've got a GSR head gasket going on it. But how the, uh, the pistons are actually in here backwards. See these larger valve reliefs are for the intake side oh, and gosh. they're on the exhaust side. And oh, they're just some, I'm guessing they're just some stock bore uh, forged pistons. And so however much wear this motor had already, <laughs> there's a lot of piston to wall clearance. Oh, but if we got to build a motor anyways, it doesn't really cost us anything to blow this up if we're going to build one regardless. So we're going to send it, see what it does. Do send it, it for YouTube. Do it for the YouTube. Yeah, I mean, every, <laughs> every motor ever since my first motor I've ever built, I've done as legit as possible. And uh, I think it's time I actually do to put it YouTube right? to see how much can we get a like? how shit I can get away. Can we get a like and sub for this motor blowing? <laughs> you can hear that. <laughs> yeah. Com comment below if you think this motor is going to blow on the dyno. Do it again. Do it again. Oh yeah, show them again. Alright. <laughs> we're taking bets in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we'll roll a couple of clips of uh, the head going back on, probably putting, maybe putting the manifold on tonight, or no? Oh yeah, the manifold's okay. going on before the head does, it's just easier that way. Okay, so yeah, we'll have a couple clips coming. Uh, stay tuned. Well, this is some Honda bullshit. So we just got the uh, fuel pump harness ran through the uh, hanger, and so Danny's about to throw the fuel pump in and get it wired up. Don't do this at home because you'll get fuel splashed on you <laughs> while you're doing full pulls. It's a drag car, who cares? So tomorrow uh, we'll finish up. Uh, Matthew's gonna try to finish the uh, motor side tonight. We'll get the fuel pump and stuff buttoned up tomorrow, and then maybe get it started up tomorrow this week. So yeah. All right, guys. It's like 10:30 in the morning. I came back to Matthew's. This dude has not went to sleep yet. He literally already installed the full turbo setup. Uh, we're waiting on the intercooler piping.
What's up, guys? The uh, motor is basically back uh, back to being complete. Uh, he's going to finish tightening the valve cover on and then throw spark plugs in. Uh, he has the timing set, but not the ignition timing. So he might have to get a timing light to do that. And he just downloaded the base map from our tuner, Jason Waters. Uh, he's out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the dude is seriously the best when it comes to uh, civics and uh, stuff like that. Matthew's a big uh, Jason Waters fan. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so if you're in uh atlanta area or in the southeast it's definitely worth you checking out jason waters if you're planning on doing a civic build but anyways uh, we're about to put this on and then uh get this motor uh cranked up and then uh probably this week we'll have the intercooler piping in and start making some boosts we got the power on fuel pump hooked up out of gear uh, out of gear he's got um the uh, base mat from Jason Waters on now, so we're gonna try to kick it on. Supposedly, I've I've only used uh, this. I've never really done any tuning. I've uh, used S three hundred like one time, and that was months ago when we were first messing with this car. So I've got to relearn how to do all this stuff. But I I think it ought to be good to go. All right, did you change the, the sensor? Which oh, sensor? he changed the sensor for. Yeah, me. I mean, I already told him everything that okay. this car was going to have, so right. it should be good to go. See if it starts. What was that? Sound like a fuse blew. Crank it. Yep, it popped red down there. Huh. Got a fuse is blew. that a breaker or is that a fuse? Oh, we gotta diagnose this now. <laughs> 